why Brandon Ingram needs to have some more respect. Brandon Ingram is a player who is a member of the New Orleans Pelicans. He's been leading his team with or without Zion Williams on the court. His numbers, stats, and insights on the court say it all. Why Brandon Ingram needs to have more respect on his name is something we'll be mentioning due to his career, NBA stats, and everything else he brings to the table. Ingram is not scared to turn up the heat when the fire is hot as he can take over a game due to his scoring, passing vision, and his length at 6'8". Ingram, we already know, is on the brink of all-star potential as he's already been one in the year 2020. What we know about Brandon Ingram right now, he has just more than 20 points per game at 24.7 points a game. He has amazing percentages at 48% from the field and 39% from three on this season. And his efficiency in the field goal is at 52% with 5.8 assists and last year in the playoffs for the Phoenix Suns, he scored 27 points a game and he took the Phoenix Suns to 6 games as they were one seed. Brandon Ingram when he won the most improved player back in the year of 2019 and 2020 in that NBA season, he was a very much bit better. He got the same numbers and same points on average, but he shot a higher attempt mark on the 3 point line and he was more aggressive at the rim. The Pelicans needed Brandon Ingram by all means as a vital part in that Anthony Davis trade. So this needs to be a discussion for why he's not appreciated often. The season for Brandon Ingram was special by all means as he had a true stream percentage of 58.7%. As Brandon Ingram became a first time All-Star, Brandon Ingram became an All-Star in that season in that for his first time being an All-Star game, he didn't really do much as he only scored two points. And in a highlight of that season, he scored 50 points in the game, so that was pretty much special, and he almost did that at 49 versus Utah Jazz. For stats right now, Brandon Ingram, we all have already said already, he averages more than 20 points as he scores close to 25 points a night. His percentages, we all know, is amazing. Brandon Ingram has a good passing vision as he gets close to 5 assists every game. His effectiveness and the threat he has on the court make these stats very much not surprising to me. In seeing him take on the number one Phoenix Suns last year in six games, Brandon Ingram was the main scoring option of that team. Brandon Ingram also scored 30 plus points a game 11 times this season, and that's great for him only playing 50 to 50 games in that stretch of the season. In the middle of March, he went ridiculously crazy, and in the middle of March to the beginning of April, he had a stretch just scoring 25 points almost every other game in that stretch. He played teams like the Warriors, the Nuggets, the Clippers to that stretch in time, which is pretty much wild to me. But Brandon Ingram, we all know he's a bucket getter, he can score no matter what. As for Ingram, due to his shot breakdown this year, he doesn't really shoot a lot in the three point arc as his attempts from three aren't as high as at three or four attempts per game. So he usually scores in mid range and he scores at the rim, or most of his points are also collected from the free throw line. So he gets his point the hard way. Brandon Ingram needs more respect and that's my rant and take for today's video. If you like the video on Brandon Ingram and why he deserves more respect, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on this video, and I'm out y'all.